Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to Pac-Man World 2. Last time, we defeated, we beat Butane Pain and Inky's Blade-O-Matic, the latter of which was probably the level which I died the most so far. And this episode, we are going back into Butane Pain because I discovered something that's worth noting. I discovered two secrets that are important. One of which, more so than the other, because I never found it before growing up, and I almost died. So first, we just need to play the level. Up to... this point. At this point, there's an apple down there, and that is part of the level which I was very mystified about, because it doesn't seem to serve any purpose. You get this apple. Oh, no, no, I said you get, yeah, you get the apple, and then it takes you back to the beginning of the level for some reason? And I, I didn't know why, but now I do. Now I do. I was fine. I discovered this when I was recording last episode's end slate because I had to go here. I had to play through the level, and since I was on my own free time, I could explore a little bit. I could I could pan the camera around and just see what was going on. So I discovered that if you go to this particular directional B-doing, there's a platform over there which we can't get to normally. So if we there's also the beginning of the level down there. If we use this B-doing and then cancel our trajectory, we get a free life. Cool, but we also get a platform with a spitter on it. So we kill the spitter, and an apple chest containing a Galaxian of a level that I will show off, but I will not play on screen. This has to be one of the better modeled and textured levels, considering that not only do we have the net physics as we run across this, this maze, thank you, as we run across this maze, but we also have the level itself below us, and it's not the entire level, it, it is a low, uh, low polygon, uh, low resolution render, but it is the level. It looks pretty cool. Ah, that spider is guaranteed to hit you as every time you come out of that, come out of the cutscene. But that's not the only secret. The other secret requires me to play the level up to this point once again. I was trying to get to a good vista, a, a nice view for the end slate, and when I was bouncing on this particular B-Doing, if you look at the right side of the screen, there are directional B-Doings down there. And I figured out that that's a secret. We've never seen that. I've never seen that, actually. In all my years of playing this game, I've never seen that if you go down here, there's a bee doing at the bottom leading to a serious, crazy chain of bee doings leading to this. Now, I thought, you know, maybe I, I might have seen this before, but no, I have not. And this is why. I definitely, and I recorded my reaction on this, do not remember this. <laughs> oh, I need to go back, I need to go back, I need to go back. What on earth? <laughs> so, I noticed... Oh, this- I, I didn't know about this! I did not know about the secret! That is so cool! I was just trying to find the end slate! So not only is this one of the, the cooler secrets in the game, actually, and one I've never found prior to recording this Let's Play, and I, I showed it to Nova, she hasn't, she hasn't seen it either, but it's also the best place in the game to farm lives! And that's saying a lot, considering that the level- the first level we're playing next episode is the runner-up to this this level. It was what I believed prior to a few days ago as being the best level for farming. But no, this level, this one takes the cake and it's easy to, to farm. You can just die and the levels will be reset. So there we go. Ice River Run. Oh boy. Ice levels and snow levels, I guess, have always been the litmus test. For whether for how creative a design team is if the ice world is good if they make it compelling if they can make the mechanics fun and enjoyable for the player then there is no limit to what they can accomplish and the game is truly great if they can make something as restricting as ice mechanics work for the player pac-man it's uh, pac-man it's great to see you everything around here has changed since spooky and the ghost stole the golden fruit Ghosts have been has have been seen all around the mountain. Watch out for the for the reveral rams. They are mean. You might want to give them a taste of their own medicine. 
when they are dazed, but down, but bounce them to finish them. Be careful out there, Pac-Man. All of Pac-Land is counting on you. Ice River Run. Ice physics right off the bat. <laughs> Even in the thumbnail. I'll be honest, I don't remember this level that well. The, the other level, the next level, and the level after that, I have extremely fond memories of. Well, sort of fond memories in the case of the next level. Ooh, secret, secret. But this level, not so much. I don't, I remember some of the things that happened, but I don't remember the order in which they happened. So what I have is a bunch of p bits and pieces, like a, like a dream. Like a half-remembered dream of how this level is going to go down. I remember these dudes. Give them a taste of their own medicine. Thankfully, he gave us that hint. And the window for killing them is quite generous. And I, I'll, I'll give a disclaimer. Even though we haven't even played but uh, 100 feet, 100 yards of this level, keep in mind that the first level of each of these worlds, we already know, it's established that they spend time introducing the mechanics. And this being an ice world, the mechanics they're going to be introducing are probably going to be ice physics. It's probably going to be a, a lack of visibility. What? Camera? Please? It's showing a secret there. It's probably going to be these pack rams. So, don't expect anything too crazy right off the bat. It's probably going to be a very formulaic meta ice level up until next episode. Or actually, even... Ooh. What's that? I don't remember this. Can we... Ooh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh! Oh! Hello! What What do you do? Uh, that was awkward. We can go in here. Oh. Uh, wait. Do I want to do that? Oh, we're little. I don't remember this at all, actually. Speaking of which, the giant crate. Thank you. Oh! Ice bear. Oh, and... Wait. Is that the end of the... What? There's a secret end of the level? We can just... Okay, well, let's get this. So much for formulaic and meta. Wow. Uh, you know... I skipped the I skipped the butane pains pack level, and I think I might start skipping all of them from here on out. I, I'll probably give a basic gist of the level. Where did there you are? I'll probably start giving a basic gist of the level just so you can see them because they are each unique. But I don't think I'm going to be showing them off anymore. They just take too much time in the episode. So I'm going to stop talking, and actually, you know what? I'm gonna fast forward this. That's that's an even better approach. The comments recommended that I start eating the ghosts, not because, not because it's more optimal, but <laughs> just because I get more points. So I'm gonna start doing that. <laughs> there. <laughs> Are you satisfied? I got six thousand four hundred and eighty points, and I completed the level? The question mark. Which means we're going to have to do this level again. That's weird. Whoa! Never mind. Whoa! Uh, uh, camera? Thank you. Uh, oh, whoa. Okay. This is really awkward. Why couldn't they have just given us uh, one of the, the micro things? And now I have to jump over this. Why couldn't they just have given us one of those micro... Dots. Camera, please help me. Thank you. They should have just done that. And then we warp back. Well, good. I don't have to restart this level because that would have been weird for pacing. Okay, I'm going to avoid that guy. Oh, ice physics. Ugh. See, I, I don't actually have a problem with ice physics if they're done in a way that is both realistic, non-obtrusive for the player. Like, this is nice. Th this, is, this is really good. They're giving us solid platforms with good grip, and if we make a mistake... We have some bad grit to try and recover. Oh, we're also sliding down the river. So it's it's a hazard in and of itself. Also, what do you want to bet? That if I fell in that water, I would instantly die. Let's let's not test that theory. I don't think that's a good idea. We have Death Fish, which one of these days, I'm going to get around to talking about the official names of all of the enemies. That's going to be a topic at some point. Why am I getting this? There's a ghost up here. I, I'm gonna get the ghost, then I'm going to come back because I only have one shot, and it's not like it respawns. So, I'm gonna make. Are there any more? No, there. There are no more ghosts. So now let's grab. 
Oh, snowballs. No snowballs. Please, no snowballs. Whoa! The momentum! Oh, we got that! Oh, that's nice! The, the developers didn't have to do that. That's sweet of you. Let's climb. Yeah, uh, this is coming back to me, but once again, it's- I don't know the- I don't remember the order. Does this tip? No. That would- wouldn't make sense for a game of this era to have that kind of physics. Uh, you, sir, are a jerk. I remember hating these guys as a kid, and it feels good to not have any difficulty with them anymore. Uh, that, or there's a way to go up there, and there's a way to go up there. What do you want to say? This is the secret. Oh. Oh, that's- oh, I can't do that. I cannot do that. That's not a good idea. So if I try to... to butt bounce on the ice, that happens. That's a jerk move. Maybe that's why I hated them. Go this way. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa he followed me from there? What is he? Is he Sonic? Okay, don't follow me. Leave me alone. Ooh. Nah. I am learning so many things about my childhood that I was justified. Those things home in. Oh, I'm, but I'm, I'm safe on the rocks. I'm safe on the rocks. I think. I hope. Yes, I'm safe on the rocks. Please? Yes. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Well then, thank you. You go so far! In fact... Get on the rock, please. Pac-Man, I almost said Sonic, but... I guess that's true to form. Uh, I'm gonna grab the strawberry. For no particular reason other than I want to. And then I want to try and skip this. I think I can. Because I go so far. Get me up. Get me up. Or not. Okay. Ooh, avoid that. Get on the rock. Get on the rock, Pac-Man! Yeah, these, uh, these ice physics aren't bad. They're kind of fun. Jump. Thank you. Yeah, they're kind of fun because normal ice physics, it just messes up with platforming. But this is a whole different struggle where if you miss... Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> oh, man. I Tipo's there. That's... That's dead. Yes! Ooh! But yeah, the, the ice physics adds, the, adds this unique hazard where if you you aren't precise, exactly precise, like that, with your jumps, then you have to backtrack. Uh, it's not just, ma it's never making, it's never actually making your jumps difficult, it's making them difficult if you fail, instead of just outright killing you. And I like that. That's new. And I didn't expect that from this level. I, I was totally prepared. And I will be honest, I was totally prepared to say, oh yeah, this, this, and I even said it at the beginning, this, uh, this level is going to be formulaic, it's going to be a very meta level, because they're just introducing you to snow mechanics, uh, but I didn't expect this, I, I like that. Oh, uh, you, okay, I, I won't say that it was, wasn't, oh no, it wasn't expected, where did you go? Oh no, I don't know where he is, I don't know where he is, woo, <laughs> those things are terrifying, they're terrifying. <laughs> crazy. Okay. Can I see? I need to be able to... There's a very wide river. They're not kidding. This is... This is a river. I mean, it's not quite... It's not huge. It's not true to, to real-life rivers, because real-life rivers... As a kid, they're like an ocean. They're like a stinking ocean. Okay, um... Do I want to skip this? Or do I... Okay, I guess... I guess my brain autopiloted. Okay, that didn't outright kill me. You... That fish is flying. That seems... Yeah, th that's... That's an easy jump. Even though I overshot it. And I'm definitely not 100%ing that. Oh, snowballs! N you want to play snowball the fight? I will... Melt you with this power of the sun. Because that's what I am. And you will melt. Die, please. I have so many lives. I, I do not have to worry about lives. Die, Pac Ram. Yeah. You couldn't dodge that because you're a ram. You get it? It's like the car. Yeah. Get wrecked. Uh, this seems... This seems slightly smart, but I need to wait for it to float up. It was kind of... Smart! Never mind. Wait, am I further ahead than I was? I think I am. Yeah, I'm a bit... F Unless I missed this secret. No, no, I have not seen this before. Okay, if I recall, that's the end of the level. That that part is coming back to me. And if I am recalling correctly, that's a secret. And to get that secret... 
I need to start jumping. Get some traction. Okay. To get that secret, what are we supposed to do? Are we supposed to rev roll through that? I think we are. No, that was a bad idea. That was a bad idea. No, 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 no. Jump it. Jump it. Oh, snow. Can I get some traction? Jump. No. Oh, no. Don't tell me. Don't. Kill me off that. Oh. Okay, we're put back here. Take whatever this is. I, I will say the snow mechan the ice mechanics are a bit frustrating. I, I won't I won't sugarcoat the game that much. They are a bit annoying, but but I mean they're inherent. That's Okay. Can I do this? Yes, I can. And what is it? Oh no! No! No, take me back! Take me back! No, there was a the token! I didn't grab the token! Because I was I was my thought was I I need to edge myself alongside it. Don't die. No 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 this is not good. This is not good. This is not good. Okay. My thought was if I edge myself along it, then if there's a a pack trail, then I I don't have to uh, to backtrack with that without getting the thing. But what I didn't feel to realize was I wouldn't get the thing and I would backtrack, which is exactly what I was trying to avoid. Get this. Get the token. There's a pack bear. Uh, I don't think I have to kill him, but I want to. I definitely want to kill him. I want to kill the polar bears because he was the last of his kind. Is that ins insensitive? Well, I don't think the polar bears will be offen uh, offended because they're all gone. <laughs> I'm gonna leave this level now. 28,000 points. That's that's definitely a new high score. And now onwards to the topic of the day. Or, that's what I would say, if I were me. Fortunately for you, I am not me. I am in fact future me. Future me is here to tell you to move your mouse over the screen of this video that you are watching with your eyes. Do you see that? No? Well, that is the video length, which was 3753 before I came from the future and cut out the topic of the day in order to shorten this otherwise long episode. You're welcome and don't worry. You'll see this topic later on in the series. Now, I'm going to go back to the future to edit the Breath of the Wild Master Mode 100% Let's Play. Oh wait, you weren't supposed to hear that. Now I need to send Future Future Me to come back and cut this part out. Hello, it's Future Future Me. I just cut out that mention of that one Let's Play that should not be mentioned. You're welcome, and I hope you look forward to it. Avalanche Alley. I remember this. This is... Oh, I'm scared. Of the, the two levels that I remember, one of them is really fun. This one is fun, but it's so stressful, and you're going to see why. I'm going to grab this pack del... Pack del it. I'm going to grab this pack pellet, and I am going to get a few points, and then I am going to run like the wind. Notice the camera doesn't pan. That's because we're playing Crash Bandicoot. Oh, boy. Yeah, avalanches. Something that you don't see in snow levels that often, surprisingly. You really don't. But, uh, and you think it might be slow now, but just, just you wait. That would have killed us. And we have the ice working for us and against us, giving us a little bit of extra speed, but we're not sure how much control we're going to be sacrificing. The the rev roll is our best friend, and I'm not trying to get 100%, but I, I, I could guess fruit. I couldn't tell if that was a pit or not. Don't kill me. Oh, wait, are we going down? Oh, we're going down the level. Oh, I missed a thing. Oh, no. Well, I can get it now. One thing that is already throwing me off a bit is that the rev roll controls, for some reason, are reversed. If I want to go... If I want to go to the right, I have to hold left. And I guess that kind of makes sense because we're facing the different way and they didn't want to remap the controls. Okay, that is not a pit. I thought it was a pit again. But that could kill me. Oh, no. Give a short boost. Just to keep us ahead. I don't think this, most games would rubber band this, but I don't think this game does. I think this goes a flat speed at all times. I wonder where the Galaxian is going to be. That'll be weird. There's one in, the, there's one in this level. Oh, uh, are you ready? Neither am I, there it is. It doesn't matter if I was ready, it's coming. 
and it slowly builds up size too because it's realistic it's when you think about it <laughs> as a brief oh no oh this i didn't think this this mechanic was going to be introduced in this level those pillars follow the direction that they're pointing i got a life is it following oh it's not following me i'm safe i'm fine okay take another breather we have a bit of actual level here oh no oh i needed to rev roll there one of the mechanics I did discuss, oh yeah, what I was saying, is when you think about it, this this level is basically a more a slightly more realistic realistic version of City Escape. From from what is it, Sonic, yeah. Which is kinda neat. Sonic fans, you know? I'm not one of them, but you know, you exist. Bless your bless your hearts, because it takes a lot of courage to be a Sonic fan. I don't remember this part of the level. I mean I vaguely do, but it's nice to see! It's nice to see mechanics that were introduced in the last world being reused, well not reused, but can expanded upon. Get the token. I really want to get the tokens more than anything. The tokens are, are sweet and they give me music. Let's bounce. Okay, if, the, if this secret is anywhere, it's going to be here! Ha! Ha! This is where it is, right? No. Oh, I, okay, I should probably... Yeah, no, you're not gonna follow me here, are you? I died from that, okay. Oh, that's cool, Pac-Man's trying to ice skate without ice skates on. I wonder if that works. I, I, grew, I grew up and live in Washington State, so ice, this thick of ice is not, is not a native concept to me. I've never ice skated before. I've never been brave enough to walk on a on a pond be like on a frozen pond before? Oh no. Because I know it's a stupid idea. Okay, that would kill me. How'd I know? How'd I know? Oh, but I got, okay, I got, I did get a checkpoint. You, how do you warp through time and space? You are a magic man. I don't like you. Rams. I thought they'd just be a childhood thing. But they are an eternal thing. Rams are nasty. Grab that. And you think you think that the 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 nail biting is over? No way. It's not over yet. It's not over until that monkey we saw at the beginning of the level is dead because that is way more powerful than Spooky. Spooky just sends a bunch of lame ghosts. This thing sends like death. Okay, that. That's a secret. Uh, I need to grab that in the midst of a a fun house. Grab it, grab it. Go grab that. Perfect. And I did spot there is a packed out trail, which will take me to the beginning. So I'm looking for the the Galaxian, and it's oh boy, it's nowhere to be found. Please grab it. Yes, I got it. Okay, I need to stop doubting my abilities because at this point, yes, I'm dying, but I'm dying because I'm doubting my abilities. Make sure that other one doesn't see me. Oh, I, wow, I grabbed, I got that. Grab the melon, that, no, never mind. I was going to say it might open a crate later on. That looks like the end of the level. It's not, it's not, it's still going. Die, grab your token. All these, these rams just want to play the arcade. Can I snipe him? Oh no. I have to deal two of them. 2v1! I can bounce on his head. That's stupid. Not doing that. There he is. Got him. I'm in midair. I don't see him. Where is he? He's behind the tree? Yes, he is. This is intense, man. This air. This level. This world is is intense. I am battling on the edge of a cliff. <sighs> okay, I'm fine. Music stuttered there. That was kind of weird. Stutter as I regain control of the camera. Okay, that is a thing. That might be a secret. We're almost near the end of the level. Where does that take us? That takes us here. That looks like a secret, doesn't it? That, But it's not. I, I can tell by the modeling on there. Yeah, floating tree, nope, not a secret. 
Here it comes. Camera reverses again. We see that we just entered the mouth of a cave, a literal mouth. You can expect what that's going to bring. That's right. And this time, these things help us. We are sent flying. Instead of a hazard, they are a, such a boon. And honestly, really fun. I love throwing myself into those things. Well, now that they don't kill us. Okay, they're probably going to put the Galaxian. I'm really fixated on this. Oh, no. They're probably going to put the Galaxian in a spot. Oh, no. That was not good. Get a little bit of extra distance there. That is one of the most efficient ways of moving in the game. Oh, boy. That, those will give us a, a horizontal boost. I don't really need one, though. Okay, we're, we're good. Oh, grab it. That'll give us some time. It's going to fall into that. Oh, this music. The bass. It sounds like the Fire Nation. Wow. This is intense. It really does sound like the Fire Nation from uh, Avatar. That's kind of cool. Yeah, nope. If it's Strawberry, I'm moving on. Okay, what I need to do instead of doing that is that. And also that. Uh, that was stupid. If I miss it, I miss it. Get a little boost. And I, I don't think this thing overrants. I said that before, and I really don't think it does. I think it is a constant speed that's just difficult to, uh, to outrun. And we, we look like we're in the clear. It's not that bad. I don't think. I'm kind of scared here. Oh, it just got bigger. Yeah, we seem to be fine. I... I don't think it's that bad. Well, cool. Oh, no! I just had to open my mouth and say that. Oh, it's, it, it, it definitely is fine. What could possibly go wrong? And oh, it did things go wrong. Woo! Keep running. Remember to stay on the left now. I know that there are things on the right. Of course, as soon as I say that. Actually, it almost looked like it did rubber band. Next time I take one of those those boosts, watch how quickly it moves. I don't know why I'm so obsessed with this, but I guess it does matter because it means if we're closer to it, we have a, a smaller chance of dying because it's probably going to slow down. 30 lives. Started this love this episode at 9. Whoa! That was my fault. 34,000 points. Don't do it. Wow, that is hard. Oh, this is not the time, okay? Now I need to hug the left. It has to be the next thing. The packed out drill is alluding to it. Jump, jump. Okay, I cleared it. Uh, it's too late, it's too late. If I can't get it in two attempts, then it's not worth it. Nerves got to me. Fall, trust the packed out trail, because now it's blind. Oh, okay. Grab the boost. That was a good boost. The last melon. Nope, pal, that's not serious. Stay serious. Don't think of Ice Age. Even though it's very relevant right now. <laughs> Especially considering the avalanche. Was there an avalanche in that? I don't remember. Okay. I need to stop trying to memor- Whoa! Okay, that can kill you. Let's do it. Ho oh, ho! Wow! I skipped so far ahead! Oh, no, no, no. I, I learned from this. Go that way. Go to the right. And now we're further than we've ever been. And we're out. Maybe. That might be the end of the level. We escaped. Wow, that skip at the end. What a note to end on. Yes, I want to save. That was crazy. I got so much airtime. There's so many there's so much fruit in that level too. 57% even with what I got. 33 strawberries total. 36 apples. And there was a galaxy in the level. That's that's odd. I wonder where that is. Oh. What an end to the level, which I have a sneaking suspicion that this was a long episode. I will try to have kept the the topic of the day short. I record that after I record the gameplay. What, what are you doing, Pac-Man? Pac-Man? Pac-Man. That's better. That's not... I, you, you know what? Thank you so much for watching. Oh, Ice World. I, I think I think it's been good so far. That, that was difficult. It definitely was. And 
the camera and not being able to see where we could go, where we were going, where I was going, was definitely a, a sore spot. But I think it was fine because that's that is a genre of game, and and while I'm not used to it, I, or I'm not used to it, so I, I didn't play around it, and I, I was trying to just kind of fly through the level. So all in all, I think Avalanche Alley is a good level. I think I was re very impressed with Ice River Run. That level is is really good, and Avalanche Alley was just as stressful as I remember. Join me next time in Pal Place Pac-Man World 2 for Blade Mountain which is my favorite level, hands down, of this entire game. No contest. Yeah. That's what we're going to be starting on next time, so join me on a Tuesday or Thursday to find out why it's my favorite level. See you guys then.